so Memphis will get the first possession. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. We've got Conley. Marc Gasol is out there at Pau Gasol. Then it's Shane Battier, and it's Abdul Rahim in at the three, the small four. And he recovers it, and he gets it back. Lock at six. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Conley. And another miss by Memphis. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. It's rebounded by Indiana. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Gasol. That one wide left. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Here's Jackson. Stolen by Michael Conley. Here's Abdul Rahim. Gasol trying to free himself up. Abdul Rahim can't hit. And so Indiana again turning it over. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Conley against Jackson. Conley the pass to Gasol. He can't get that one. Granger with the defensive effort. O'Neal with it. Outside Jackson. Kicks it out to Granger. Five on the clock. The 19-foot shot. Nice touch on the bank shot. That's three straight shots to fall here to start. Looking good. Conley against Jackson. Conley the pass to Abdul Rahim. Back to Conley. And it's blocked. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Here's Smith, and he banks in the lane. Smith has got his second bucket of the game to go. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. McGinnis, he's checked in for O'Neal. Rose comes in for Danny Granger. Oladipo, he's checked in for George. And Lewis subbed in for Jackson. Here's Abdul Rahim. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Lewis. Now the Pacers moving it up. Out left to the wing. Here's Rose. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here is Battier. There's the pass to Gasol. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Tall with a terrific skill set. Gasol remains one of our better scorers inside. To Smith. And Oladipo kicks to Lewis. That one, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Conley finds Gasol. We've got 118 left in the first quarter. Denied for the third time. He's 0 for 3. Indiana leading by 8. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with Memphis's head coach. He's confident in their ability to win the battle of the low post. That's where he'd like to see most of the action take place. Kevin, I think we can expect them to pound the ball down low every chance they get. Let their big men go to work. Thank you, David. Pass to Rose. Beyond the arc. Knocked loose. 
McGinnis the pass to Rose. It's another look. Smith's good. Smith's has got six. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Down low, Gasol. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Passes it to McGinnis. Back to Lewis. McGinnis against Gasol. Here's McGinnis over Gasol. The suffocating defense by Powell Gasol using his length and agility to affect that shot. And so it's the Indiana Pacers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So the Grizzlies five right now. Zach Randolph is out there with Rudy Gay. Then there's Wells, then it's Bibby, and it's Reeves in at the five down low. Whistle blows, yep, that's gonna be a travel. Indiana leading by eight. Oladipo taking his time here. The pass to Lewis, plenty of space. Buries the jump shot. Lewis has got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for Indiana. Pass to Wells. Back to Bibby. Some nice passing there by Memphis. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. What control by Randolph. A true legend at getting the hoop plus the harm. The Grizzlies shooting their first free throw this game. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Lewis outside. Pass to McGinnis. Kicks it to Hibbert. On the left block. And good that time. The Grizzlies trail by nine. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. It's Gay with the drive. Randolph dishes to Gay to the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Bibby. The shot misses. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Gay against Rose. Here's Reeves. Great touch on the 16-footer. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. And you know, the adjustments should have already been made. They know he's a good shooter from that spot. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. And those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. And some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. On the paint, and Hibbert with the nice inside bucket. Hibbert's got the lead up to 11 now for the Pacers. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Timeout called the Grizzlies. So 
Memphis ends up going with the new group. A minute 42 left in the first half of the game. Battier kicks to Williams. Gasol wide open. He fires. No good with the triple. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. Okay, time now for an injury report. And now David Aldridge has an update for us on Mike Conley. What's the news, David? Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for the Grizzlies. He said it's a hyperextended shoulder and that they've got ice on it now to try to bring down the inflammation. David, thanks for checking in. On top of it is all. It's interesting. Even with the advancements in strength and conditioning, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Williams against Lewis. Six on the shot clock. Battier outside. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Knocked away. Gasol with the steal. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Outside Gasol. Williams against Oladipo. With some arc. Count it, and the Pacer lead has been cut to just seven points in the basket from Jason Williams. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. Lewis against Williams. Lewis outside. Here's McGinnis. And so it's the Indiana Pacers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Jones. It was all about Indiana as the game got going. A smoldering performance for them early as they shut down everything defensively and were clicking on offense, going 10 and that's going to do it for us here. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. And so George will bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Danny Granger out there with O'Neal. Then there's Jackson. Then it's Paul George. And it's Smiths in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Fast break, Memphis. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And Collie is so smart at exploiting holes in the defense on the drive. He's incredibly effective at drawing fouls. The Grizzlies shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Battier against George. Some solid defense from Battier. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. No good on that one. Granger with the defensive effort. Indiana leading by five. Here's Jackson. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Memphis with the ball. And here is Conley. And so it's Memphis with it. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Gasol. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The craftiness of Marcus Gasol. He knows how to create that contact. The Grizzlies shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. He's perfect from the line this time. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. 
O'Neal trying to break free. Jackson, that's good. Jackson's got five points now in the quarter. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Here's Gasol, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Gasol's got six points. With that height, Marc Gasol will always be able to get off his shot from mid-range. On the wing, George. He's guarded by Battier. Hand contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. For Indiana, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. That's good from George. And Memphis making a change here. Second free throw, no good. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Stolen by George. And it's George finishing it off. And I just love the aggressiveness from George. Just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. Here's Conley. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And he can't get the first one. It's so good to see Mike Conley out there. After all the injuries, I just love how the offense runs with him at the helm. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. Jackson passes to Smith. A shot, no good. Outside Anthony. There's the lob to Randolph, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Jackson, and the layup's good off the glass. He's got seven. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. They get a hand on it, and the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Rudy Gaze checked in for Memphis. Bibby comes in for Michael Conley. For Indiana, they have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. The first free throw is good. And so Jackson nails both of them. The Grizzlies trail by 13. 158 left in the third. Count it. A minute 50 left to play in the third. The feed to O'Neal. Over Bibby. Goes back up. Rejected by Randolph. And he's able to get it back. Smith's good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Smith's has gotten it done so far from the field tonight, making four of his six attempts. Bibby passes to Gay. Outside Anthony. It's Gay on the way. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Indiana. They're on a 14-6 run. To the paint, here's George. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. And the Pacers lead by 15. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. For Memphis, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. And that one falls for Bibby. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. Wells, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Scott comes in for Anthony. Here's Lewis. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Fires from deep. Wells grabs the miss. The Grizzlies trail by 13. Here's Abdul Rahim. Passes to Bibby. Kicks it to Scott. Here's the three. And again, Memphis no good. Here's Indiana. 
Rose scanning the floor. Now the pass to Lewis. Over Abdul Rahim. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Indiana. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are... the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The Grizzlies trail by 13. So on the four for Memphis. Williams out there with Scott. And it's Mark Gasol. Then it's Pau Gasol. And it's Battier in at the small forward. May have been a foul. Anyway, Gasol absorbs the hit, was strong enough to finish through it. Lewis against Williams. Oladipo for three, and he's good on the three ball. Oladipo's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Outside Williams. Outside Gasol. He can't hit that time. So Indiana will take it the other way. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Mike Conley's checked in for Scott. Conley against Lewis. Goes to the reverse layup and hits it in. And the Pacers lead by 16. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Williams finds Gasol, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. As Gasol continues to work on his shooting range, guess what? His free throw percentage has been creeping up as well. Probably not a coincidence. That's to Rose. McGinnis against Gasol. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. And the shot is good. And so here's Memphis. It's a 16-point game. Conley against Oladipo. Conley gets the bucket. He's wiry strong. Conley's made a living taking contact and making shots. Here's Oladipo. Oh! Yes. Oh, he's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Here's Conley. Gasol trying to free himself up. Misses off the left iron. Yeah, and that's been the story of the game. I mean, the rebounding has been very one-sided. And there's the bucket from Victor Oladipo. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused, and they've executed. And there's Gasol. That's good on the assist by Williams. Eight points for Mark Gasol. What you know about Marcus Saul's game is he has a fantastic feel working down there in the interior. Here's Oladipo, and he lays it straight in. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. The Grizzlies trail by 18. Now a timeout, timeout called by Memphis. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And with his game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game.
And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Lewis passes to Oladipo. Lewis dishes to Rose. Six to shoot. Got it. Good job in the low post. And the Pacers lead by 20. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Here's Gasol. Can't connect from short range. And here's Indiana. They're on a 15 to 6 run. And Oladipo, here we go. And finished off by Oladipo. A one man show offensively. And that's almost always good news for his team. Mattier outside. Pass to Gasol. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. I mean, phenomenal concentration. Paul Gasol able to stay focused through the contact. Potential and one. Free throw drops for Gasol. 102 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Granger outside. Reeves with the rebound. Goes up from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Indiana. 22 is their biggest lead. Oh, and he's going up for the alley-oop here. Anthony against Jackson. Anthony kicks to Gay. Pass to Reeves. Back to Gay. Scott against Granger. Just five to shoot. And the pass to Reeves. Goes back up. Gasol lays it up and banks it in. Nice move by Gasol. When playing with energy, he's tough to keep off the glass. Anthony against Jackson. To the middle. Gasol with the rebound. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.